guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Um, I wake up at about 7 o'clock every morning. Um, I should probably check. I do set an alarm on my phone. Um, but then my husband leaves for work uh, a little bit before 7 when he can. And so that usually, you know, he wakes me up to say goodbye. Uh, let me see. I should turn off my alarm. Because it'll go off in three minutes. But first things first, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, and my vitamins are in there, so that's part of my routine. But I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna take them while I'm using the toilet because multitasking. Alright, let's wake up. I think I've shown you these before anyway. Hey, silly buns. What you doing, Max? Hey. Oh, let's go. I've been making a point of getting in the habit of eating breakfast every morning, even if it's just a bowl of cereal. So I really enjoy my special K with red berries, even though I don't understand why it's called that, because there's only one berry in there, and it's strawberries, which aren't even technically, but technically a berry. So I don't know, why is it called red berries if it's just strawberries? It's like the name strawberry is like copyrighted. I don't know. These are the things you think about when you're half awake in the morning. I'm going through my weekly schedule here and marking off all the things I didn't get done yesterday that I need to move on to today's daily. Sort of setting that up, but I think I have enough stuff on today's daily. Like, sorry, right? all these things. Uh, there's no more room in this column, so I'm gonna stop adding stuff. I think that's a good indicator. This box thing, um, chest, is something that we got from my grandma when we were uh, for helping her. Um, it's like a cedar chest. I don't know why they painted it blue. We're going to refinish it when we have a chance. But this is where we keep our throw pillows, um, which makes it nice and easy to set the, uh, to make the bed every morning uh, without having to worry about getting dog hair all over the pillows. I'm trying to get just a little bit of a bump. I'm trying to show it off as much as possible because I want like strangers to know that I'm pregnant and not just like awkward family and friends and co-workers who are like more likely to try to touch me or offer unsolicited advice. I just want like the people who I don't know to like, you know, offer to, to help me carry something heavy or whatever. <laughs> It's 7.30 um, and the doctor's office is opening and I have to book an appointment, so I'm going to give them a call real quick. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, that should be it. Thanks, you too. Okay. The U2 is for have a great day, not for thanks for calling. Anyway, all right, that wasn't bad, and it's now only 7.35. Um, since this is a get ready with me, and uh, like I never do make, I've never done makeup on this channel. Like I almost barely ever even like put on mascara for the camera. Let's do my makeup. <laughs> okay. So I have all my makeup set up here on the dresser in the bedroom, cause uh, our master bathroom has like no counter space and it's fine because it means this way I can do my makeup while my husband's you know doing his ablutions or whatever. Uh, I am planning to do a full house tour at some point uh, so I'm not showing you too much of the house this morning because I don't want to spoil anything. Alright so um, 
this is just my my everyday like when I say everyday it's like I almost never put on makeup this is my um, lazy Saturday makeup um, I use this Neutrogena mineral shears um, loose powder foundation It's because it gives a little bit of sort of evens out my complexion without being too much or really too difficult I can just sort of apply it without paying attention too much or blending too much very nice and quick and easy Next up, we're going to apply our Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eyelids. I'm going to say to let this sit for like 30 seconds before you apply eyeshadow. So I do it at this point. Give me a little bit of time. And then while that sort of... Well, look, primer's getting primed. I put on a little bit of blush. I use this um, The Balm Frat Boy. It's just a nice kind of neutral pink. There's the heater going. Sorry about that. brush is really dirty, but it's a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. Um, and then I'm using these two eyeshadows. Um, they're from Julep. Um, and these are the colors, uh, let's see, Tap and Ballet and Cinnamon and Spice. They're these little duos. So this Tap and Ballet has a matte uh, brown and a matte, like, I don't know, they used to call that flesh color before that was like super politically incorrect for <laughs> like so many reasons. Alright, I'm going to use this brown as a nice crease color. I really like this one, which is this, the Spice, I think. I think it's Spice. It's the lighter of the two. Uh, it was just sort of a nice uh, taupe color with a little bit of sheen. This is like a comfort zone eyeshadow color for me. I'm just going over most of the lid with this. The nice thing about wearing glasses is that I can go a little bit overboard with my eye makeup and uh, like the glasses kind of tone it down so that's fun because I enjoy eye makeup. Alright and then I switched to this Julep uh, eyeshadow blending brush. I know I'm not in focus I don't care. Um, to use the the lighter color of this Tap and Ballet Duo, um, which is a perfect highlight color for me. It matches and everything blends in really well. I can actually use it as well a little bit under the eye uh, because it matches my skin color really well. I'm very pale. So just in the corner and then the brow bone. And now we're going to put on some eyeliner. Uh, this one's also a, gel a julep one. I have a lot of julep products. Um, <clears throat> this is their gel eye glider. So it's like a, yeah, it's a pencil, but it's sort of, I don't know, softer than a pencil. And this color is called Smoky Taupe Shimmer. So it matches the eyeshadow really well. It's just a little bit darker, but a similar color idea. Alright, I'm gonna have to get up closer. 
This is how putting on makeup works when you are nearsighted. You have to get really close to the mirror. So I just put a little on my top, on my lash line, on my top lid. Because, I don't know, it's a low maintenance thing. All right, and then last step, some, so I read this stuff, it's the Maybelline Mascara Full and Soft. Um, I have it in both waterproof and non. I'm going with non-waterproof today, because I'm not expecting to go on any water slides or break down too much, but you know, never speak too soon. Anything can happen. And you're swimming in pregnancy hormones. I'd wink, but I'm putting on mascara. So I'm not even in frame. There we go. Lovely. My eyelashes are like so long that I have to wait for my mascara to dry before I put on my glasses or I'll get mascara on the inside of my glasses. Um, there's actually some there right now, and I should probably clean that off a bit. Um, I don't usually wear lip stuff. I'm trying to see if there's one I should pick. How about this one? I love these um, Revlon lip butters. I don't even know if they make the line anymore. I know that all my favorite colors are discontinued. And I don't buy as much uh, makeup anymore. I don't like finding places to keep it. There we go, just a touch, and I'm ready for the day. I was gonna empty the dishwasher, but it looks like you even got to that before I did. So uh, I'm all set and ready to go to work, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, see ya.